Hi, I'm Richard, and this is Rick's Tracks Three Rail Trains. Today, we're going to be looking at the Lionel Universal Bluetooth Remote and double heading Lionel Locomotives. We've all been waiting for the new Base 3 to come out. And in the meantime, I found a clever little trick using the Universal Remote that will allow you to connect two locomotives to one button so you can do a lash up. Here's how you're going to do that. I've got my two Lion Chief locomotives on a powered track awaiting a signal from the remote. Turn on the remote, press and hold one and quickly tap the bell. Both locomotives are connected to the remote control. To release the locomotive, press and hold one, the button will flash, and the locomotives will be released. To use the number two button, press and hold two, quickly tap the shift key, and both locomotives are tap are connected to the number two button. Same procedure, press and hold number two, the button will flash, and the locomotives will be released. For the number three button, we're gonna press and hold number three, and quickly tap the horn key. Both locomotives are now connected to number three. It's just that simple. Press and hold number three. It will flash and release the locomotives. An important factor to take into consideration is engine compatibility. Please check all the locomotives you plan to use in lash ups to make sure that they respond in a similar fashion to the Bluetooth remote. All right, I'm gonna push the two button connection. And we've got them connected. Now they're gonna, we're gonna start them off slow and you'll see that the two locomotives do not move at the same speed. That means that these two locomotives would not make good candidates to be lashed up. Okay, we're going to connect them up, two button push. Two horns. These two locomotives will work well together. Their, their acceleration speed's just about the same. We're going to turn them around and show you what it looks like running together and connect up some cars. The remote holds its programming until changed, so you don't have to reprogram it every time you use it. All right, what we've got here is two Lion Chief Plus 2.0 locomotives, an F3 and the K4 Pacific in Pennsylvania. We're gonna hit the two button contact. They're both connected up. You heard the horns and take them off. They're moving at about the same rate. These will be okay to double head. Stop them. I'm going to turn these around and then we'll put some cars behind. Them. Here we go. It's the 3750 pulling a special. With this baby right here, one button.
Next, Legacy. I have uh, two Legacy locomotives, the uh, Pennsylvania Camelback and the Legacy Sea line of Pennsylvania. I'm gonna push the two button sequence. They're both connected and we're off. So there you have it. Flashed up double-headed legacy locomotives without a legacy base using only the universal remote. Now that you've seen how simple this operation can be, what locomotives in your roster do you plan to do lash ups with using the universal remote? I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. We're going to be back real soon on Rick's Tracks 3 Rail Trains with more exciting things in model railroading.